doing? So, before we get into today's um, Airsoft CQB tips, tricks and tactics, I'm, all, I'm gonna make one of these where um, you're gonna see me die a lot, we're gonna talk about the stuff that we did wrong, because obviously these videos are designed for pure entertainment, so it's just kind of like a montage really, you're seeing all the best bits of the day made into one epic story, yeah, so obviously I do get shot, obviously I do die, and I think it'd be really useful for you guys and for myself, we can both learn to see like you know what I did wrong because I'll watch some of my like clips back and see that I rush into things sometimes and it's, it's better to like scan the area but yeah 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 so that's gonna happen after this video we're gonna do like maybe a do's and don'ts airsoft CQB video you know what I mean but yeah um, I need to give my uh, GG MVP shout out so, so this is for everyone who has subscribed they just like all my videos they have the notification bell on and the part of the geezer garrison so really just fucking an all round Gazer. And I'm gonna give it to Corporal Kelsey. You've been, you're part of the fucking furniture, you've been around since forever. I know who you are. Thank you very much for supporting me and my channel and to be a general legend. Right then, this is uh, from Belgium. I thought this would be a really good video to watch as my gameplay in this is like really aggressive. So we can talk about how to be an effective, aggressive, uh, airsoft, assaulter, CQB player, yada yada. Roll the clip. Okay, so this is just a nice little teaser for the start. Four kills with a grenade, yeah, nice. Nice, we'll talk about that after, let's just watch it first. Six kills, seven. Nice little run there, eight. <coughs> beautiful. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Okay, so I'm with the Stang, Kiki Mustang. This is a while ago now. <coughs> the, the, the Tokyo Marui isn't sprayed there. It's in the corner there, sprayed. I just walk off. <laughs> so that's my main weapon that I use to CQB, guys. It's my Tokyo Marui 416 Delta. And my sector sidearm. But I have recently changed to the DAS. Anyway, let's get into it. So this is straight into it, and I'll explain what I'm doing here. So, um, I knew the enemy were going to run there. I got intel before the match that, you know, they like to push to the red building and try and keep the red building. So, obviously, as an aggressive assaulter, I thought, they're not going to expect someone with an AEG to run upon them. Because it's, it's this site is predominantly snipers. So, this was just like, you know, time to fucking feast. So, this is, if you get an intel like that, act on it. Like, just go for it. You know, if you die, you die, whatever, right? But just go for it. So I knew there would be people in, in here. Straight away, I'm suppressing the position, because if everyone pops out, they're going to get rounds. Okay. Why did I throw in the grenade instead of just going in? I don't know how many enemy are going to be in that doorway. I know that this building is red, which means there's, there's enemy in it, yeah? It's not safe. So, realistically, the smartest way to get into that doorway is by via grenade, okay, guys? So, if you're unsure of enemy presence within a building, just go red. Just get a grenade in there. Safest way, and you might get some kills. There you go. Couple. Okay. <clears throat> Looking back at this now, I would... I shouldn't, I was so, because I was so excited, like, I was so, like, keen to get through the doorway, and I knew there was going to be bodies in there, I, like, rushed in, do you know what I mean, like, I'm going quite fast, but the, I was lucky there wasn't more, that there wasn't any enemies in that right doorway, or else I would have died, so what I should have done, I should have been, I should have hit them, and I should have been slow moving, pying out the angles and the corners, and I think I would have done better, I think it's because, I rushed, I think it's because, is that I knew the element of surprise was up as soon as I threw in that grenade and I had to like get as many kills as I could. That was what was going through my mind. But uh, like uh, tactically, I should have pied out corners a bit more. A bit more. That's why I died then. I could have stayed that. Look how many enemies in there though. So obviously I'm going back there now because I know they're all just sitting in there. So once you get some intel guys acting it, like I know they're in there now, I'll figure ways round to defeat them, yeah? So now, obviously, I went through the door that'll be behind me now. So now I'm going to go through the other way. Which obviously makes sense. It's just flanking, mate, guys. Like, flanking is an age-old tactic that always works. Also, guys, I just want to mention, people talk too much. Like, when you're playing airsoft or whatever, and you're trying to be sneaky, I'll have groups of people come up behind me, and they're all just chatting away, like... Just don't make any noise. If like if you want to be a good player and you want to get you know these really cool kills where you're doing a lot of flanking and being sneaky beaky, 
just don't talk. <laughs> like zero noise, yeah? No. Because I know they're in there. I know they're in this building because I just attacked from the other way. Look, he didn't even know where I, where I came from then. He was like, what happened then? See, look, I'm a lot more slower now. I'm a lot more methodical. Because I learned my lesson from the last time. Luke, take it nice and easy now. There you go. This is this is sneaky pie, and I've, I've spoken about this in other videos. Can you see? Because I don't know if anyone's there. I'm being mega slow, yeah? If I thought there was people there, it'd be a fast pie. I've spoken about this before. There's two different types of pie, yeah? This is the sneaky pie. Sneaky pie. <laughs> Make that a meme. Check that corner. Nice and slow. Slow, slow. Slow is smooth, guys. I base. See, if I'd rushed that, that might have been a trade off. Okay, why do you think we're moving fast? I'll let you comment down below. Why do you think we're moving fast? You commented? Okay, so. The reason why we're moving fast now is, is I've thrown that grenade, it's made a massive noise now, so the element of surprise is gone. So now, it's about being fast, and it's now, now it's about speed, yeah? We, you can't sneak around, now a grenade's just gone off, can you? Do you know what I mean? Come on. Change your shoulders, for that left corner. Nice, slow pie, yeah? I've lost my TRR, man. Devastated. They're so expensive now as well. It's a difficult one at a tight angle like that, trying to figure out what weapon um, is the correct one to use, right? Because obviously, at that range, that should be pistol. But because it's through a window, I didn't want to miss. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously pistol, with a pistol, you're not that accurate, are you? But obviously with my uh, vo um, Spark Vortex AR, it's accurate. So if he does peek that window, I'm going to get an actual shot at him. So that's why I put my pistol away. I definitely hit him then, Luke. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> definitely hit him then. Uh, um, also, guys, if you can't shoot with both shoulders, both eyes, learn. It's a superpower. A lot of speed, airsoft, uh, speeders, softers, whatever they're fucking called, they're really, really good at it. And it's a great skill to have. A lot of people ask me what upgrades I've got on my Tokyo Marui, but it's literally just the barrel. That's standard. So if I just killed that guy down there, I've seen him patrolling from left to right. My thought process was there's got to be more people now in these woods than there was. I'm getting shot at now from the woods. Quite unfit back then. I'm not that unfit anymore. Came me fucking panting. <laughs> Get your ass up here. That's me talking to Kicking Mustang. What I'm doing here is I'm just trying to get down the round so I can leave. Because right now I'm getting shot at. So obviously you got to, you got to RTR with suppression to then leave because there's no movement without fire, right? So, if you're ever pinned down, you've got to find a way of suppressing the enemy without getting shot, yeah? And then being able to fucking bug out, right? So that's kind of what happened there, do you know what I mean? Got out, got out rounds to my left, got rounds down to my right, bug, bugged out. Bugged out, bugged out as fuck. When you be aggressive like this, guys, you've just got to go with it. Don't stop. See how they stop? You've got to go. You've just got to keep going. Be aggressive. Be aggressive until you find a substantial amount of cover.
I die you now, I make a mistake. I'll tell you what the mistake is before it happens. What happens here now is how I advanced that contact then was correct. It was like, it was aggressive. Um, I was firing, no movement without fire, yeah? But what happened is, as soon as I got into this cover, I carried on with that attitude. What I should have done is, right, I'm in cover now, I can handrail this cover and I could have pied around that corner. That's what I should have done. And that's how I died. This is a really good example of just, so we've taken a grenade, yeah? He's come into the room and he's lit up one of our guys. So, you've had to retaliate with the exact amount of force or more. So, as soon as I clocked where he was, I was you have to be straight onto it. The more, the more time you give him to chill, guys, the more time you give him to think. In there. Change shoulders for the better angle. In there. I don't know why I threw my grenade then. There's literally one bloke in this mud there. That was zero thought process, that was. That was no thought process, that was just... That was just fucking winging it. But I think it's because I picked up my TRMR off the floor and still had it in my hand. That's what that is there. I could have easily just shot him, but I think it's because I had the TRR on my hand that I just threw it down. So that's what you can see there, zero thought process. But you know, you live and you learn, don't you? That's why we do these fucking ARRs. Oh, I remember this bit. This is a nice bit of play, this. So, let me explain this. This is a nice bit of play, this. So look, pie, pie in, evaluate the situation, evaluate the situation, what can I see, what can I see, okay, nothing, scene one, two, three, move. Now, this here, I turned my, I could have kept my light on and walked down, but I would have given away my position, and they're all in little hidey holes, so, um, that's a really good use of light, guys, is don't have it on all the time, because, at the same time as you'll dazzle people, you'll also give away your position. So, there's a lot to take in with CQB, it's, it's a bit of an art form, yeah? But the more you play, the more you learn, it becomes really good fun. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, for this, you just want to kind of keep stealth, move, torch, torch off, pie, and keep moving around, you know, trying to find their pockets of enemies. See aggression, I knew he was there, but then I got shot by that guy. I'm pretty sure I shot him then, but never mind. Anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy these, like, after action reviews where we just talk shit about CQB, really, and what was going through my head. Um, the next one I'm going to do, we're going to put together a montage of me dying and, like, what I did wrong, and I'm going to, like, evaluate myself and how I could have done it better, a bit like what we did then. Uh, if you like these videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, let me know specifically what you want me to talk about, because it's really hard to come up with ideas on my own, and obviously, all of you guys' heads is better than just one, yeah? So comment down below what would you like to see, what would you like me to talk about? Because once I get a topic, I can't talk about it. It's just finding these topics, because to me, it's all just like normal, if that makes sense. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care, take it easy. Peace! Better subscribe to Names Nico or else, and you better like it too. Or why I order.